Right now with great inflation is all over the globe, it's very sad to hear that international students are struggling to survive to cope up with their education and living expenses at foreign soil. If you're planning to studying at foreign countries without any scholarships or with a limited fund from your parents, it will be very helpful for you considering to work while earning so that you will be having a steady resources to going through your academic challenges. Anyhow the main obstacles will be a tough restrictions for you to work as an international student. Through the following content I will make sure to guide you with the best country to study and work comfortably. Before I'm going to walk through with further details about our topic, hope you can support the channel by hit subscribe button below. Anyhow all these countries were ranked through four key factors such as your education fees, ease of obtaining work permit, taxes included with social securities, working hours and wages for international students. Hope you're not going to shocked with the rankings. So without further ado, let's roll into the six best country for study and work. Number six, New Zealand. Statistics is suggesting that there were twice the livestock than humans at New Zealand, more interesting when there are around 39,000 foreign students here dominant by Chinese, Indian and less percentage of Southeast Asians. No doubt that these nation is one of key player when comes higher education program but let's see whether New Zealand will fit in our criteria to work and learn. Bachelor degree normally would cost you dollar USD $12,000 to $21,000 per year depends on the studies, still the cheapest education providers country on our list but there were plenty of options to get fully funded scholarships especially when you're coming from Pacific Islands or some South Asian countries. You can work 20 hours weekly and full time on holidays using your student visa without any complicated procedures. Anyhow there will be some caveats for working at New Zealand because you be must enrolled in minimum 12 months full time course worth of 120 credits hour. And international students can earn around 250 to 320 US dollars weekly, your average wages will be dollar USD 14 hourly. All your income will be taxed around 11% so that you need to register with New Zealand Inland Revenue Department to get an IRD number for filing the tax each year. Number 5. Canada. Canada for decades attracting international students with their vibrant cities, friendly locals, high standard of living and beautiful landscapes. But right now the cost of higher education at Canada becoming more unbearable for international students, making an unpopular choice for rank higher position for our topic. According to Statistics Canada website, Canadian bachelor degree program fees that commencing from 2022 had been rose to almost 5% for foreigners, so averagely you will be paying US$17,000 to 45000 These figure is totally depends on the program that you wish to study and local provinces. Arudera's website cited that 388,782 international students enrolled in higher education in Canada, almost 48% were Indians. You don't need any work permit to get a job at Canada as an international student, anyhow remember to apply the social insurance number once you arrived if you already granted the visa. It's very important to know that not everyone can work off campus here. You must need the requirements, enrolled in designated learning institutions, DLI, it should be post-secondary academic, vocational or professional training program with minimum of six months studies to get a certificate, diploma or degree. If you're eligible to work off campus job, a foreign student's able to work 20 hours each week and full time on semester break straight away, remember that only can start work after you begin to study in the course. The earning will be about 12 to 15 American dollars hourly and must file for Canadian income tax return before that you need to determine your residency status for tax purposes. Number 4. Spain. Mediterranean's temperate climate is a major key point for international student for considering Spain as a getaway to continuing higher education at Europe. Though Spanish is used widely, there were large numbers of course which conduct in English, latest numbers is showing that they are already more than 205,000 foreign students here, majorities of them from Italy, Ecuador, France, Colombia and China where tend to choose to live at Seville, Valencia and Granada for its cheap living cost. Course fees that ranging from 800 to 2600 American dollar is the cheapest on our list. These course fees is same for all foreign nationalities but students from outside of European Union and European Economic Area need to apply for a visa if you're studying more than six months here. 
Student visa will cost 160 US dollars for American, 98 US dollars for Canadian, and dollar USD 75 to other countries will take at least one month for approval. There were no any formalities to European Union and European Economic Area members to work and study here but other foreigners international students had some procedures to follow. Please take note that you are only allowed to work 20 hours weekly while on semester break you can work maximum of 3 months each year, the work permit will be applied through your employer and never let your work interfere with your studies in Spain. Basically, the average salary for international students who work in part-time in Spain is $800 or US$1600 monthly for full-timers. Remember that your Spanish income will be taxed around 19-24% to depends from which country you are. Number 3. Denmark Denmark is known as a happiest and one of most affordable destination to study abroad. There were estimated to be 37,000 international students already studying here. Danish university or college bachelor degrees program will cost nothing to European Union and European economic area countries included to Switzerland citizens but other than mentioned nationalities have to pay about 6,500 to 15,000 US dollars annually. Technically you just need a residence permit not student visa where you need to apply at least 90 days prior to your arrival once you were accepted into higher education institutions here. Together you need submit your enrollments acceptance letter, English proficiency proof, travel insurance and some funds for staying at Denmark to ease your chance for obtaining residence permit, which cost you roughly 260 US dollars. The approval will take 10 to 12 weeks depends where are you from and the work conditions will be attached along. But the situation is more convenient for EU and EEA nations included Switzerland because they only need to get residence document to enable them for working maximum 37 hours weekly while other nationalities international students can only work 20 hours. Anyhow you get an advantage to access full-time employment each year on June, July and August. On average you will earn 15 US dollars hourly with 8% tax. All employees must register with Danish taxation website which called SKAT for avoiding heavy penalty. Danish student support scheme which only can be accessed by European Union and Nordic citizens is a huge drawback for other nations international student. Number 2. Australia. The country is a popular destination for almost 450,000 international students as latest March 2022 statistics, majority of them are from China, India and Nepal. Australian higher education fees is one of the cheapest for pursuing bachelor degree which will cost you 10,000 US dollars to 20,000 but you can find slightly more cheaper at small suburban city campus. The procedure to legally study and work here is very simple, we just need a student visa which will cost 450 US dollars to allow you to work for 20 hours each week and full time on semester break. The standardized term is applicable for all nations international students and normally takes three to six weeks to get a visa approval if all your information is genuine. You will require to have tax file number when applying for a job which can apply online with Australian tax website. In some cases you can work as an independent contractor as well if you had that skill but you need an Australian business number, ABN, which very easy to obtain. Hourly wages is a bit vary according to the sector, anyhow most you will earn averagely around 15 American dollar. Don't forget to pay your tax which will cost the most 25% from the earnings meanwhile most of you can claim tax return as well. Number 1. Sweden. The Scandinavian nation is well known for their transparency policies to foreign communities especially towards international students. Sweden already attracts more than 350,000 international students, majority of them from Finland, Germany, China and European Union nations, but data already showing more than 26% rapid increase where students from India tend to join universities and colleges here. A bachelor degree program will cost somewhere around 7,500 to 22,000 American dollars to all nationalities, except for European Union, European Economic Area countries, Switzerland and other Nordic countries where you don't need to pay any fees, meanwhile English will used as major language at most of universities. First you need to have a residency permit so that you can work. The process is very simple where you need to accept it to any of Swedish college or university for more than three months with portion of your annual tuition fees paid. You also need to show proof to support yourself while the application is on process which can take two to four months. 
Once secured the residence permit, here comes the lucrative deal for you. All nationalities international student can work for unlimited hours with the condition that you must attend at least minimum of 40 hours of course hours included with in-class session, assignments and online classes with your tutors. The part-time wages that you can earn will be averagely 1,000 and 1,800 US dollars if you're working full-time on semester breaks after your tax deduction closely to 30%. Anyhow remember to apply tax registration if you're going to work and studying for more than six months and also eligible to get benefits from social insurance system as well. Before leaving off for the content, while I'm compiling these video I had been going through thousands of data in prior to make a decision to eliminate few well demanded countries like United States, Singapore, Ireland and United Kingdom because not fit inside our four main criteria like very confusing visa status, least work hours offered with tight procedures, less job opportunities for international students finally very expensive course fees. The statistics will keep on changing every year, it's up to you to make a brilliant decision that not let you going to suffer when you made wrong move. I hope these video had given you a top destination guidelines to choose a best country to study and work. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe, share and comment below for any queries and doubts, I will try to help you.